Well, hello, friends and neighbors. Chip Washington here reporting from my backyard on this very, very warm Friday afternoon, hoping and praying that you and your family are doing okay, that you're staying safe uh, from this COVID, and that you're also uh, keeping cool uh, and staying hydrated and taking care of those uh, who may not be doing that uh, during this extended heat wave we like to call summer. Uh, interrupting uh, your day uh, to talk about a subject that's really important to me. And it's really all about one word, apathy. Apathy. Oh, and before I say anything else, let me just be very clear about one thing. For those of you conspiracy theorists and nuts out there, uh, COVID-19 is not a hoax. I repeat, it is not a hoax. With 144,000 people dead in barely six months in this country, uh, cases escalating in states uh, all over the country, and I'm sure you've seen that if you watch the news, uh, infection rates on the rise, deaths on the rise, uh, beds um, are being filled up at, at record capacity at hospitals from coast to coast. No, ladies and gentlemen, COVID-19 is not a hoax. It is something to be feared. And it is something to be watched very carefully because guess what? It's not going anywhere anytime soon. Now, the apathy uh, angle of what I want to say has to do with schools. Schools are about to open uh, all across this country within the next few weeks. Uh, many of you have been given choices by your districts as to whether or not you want your children back in the classroom or you want your children at home learning virtually. Uh, now, uh, the deadline for some of those uh, decisions is coming up pretty quick. I'm in Memphis. Uh, that decision by parents uh, today needs to be made by 11.59 p.m. tonight, midnight on uh, July 24th. Uh, a lot of you hadn't really weighed in because a lot of you didn't think it was important enough to do so. You're going to be the same ones that are going to be angry and mad uh, if a decision is made for you, say, that they will bring the kids back to school. Heaven forbid a child brings home uh, this virus to somebody uh, because community spread is rampant. And heaven forbid it infects a member of your family or many members of your family. You're going to be the first one to want to go down to the school and fight somebody because you didn't think the decision was fair. Or did you take time to really study the issue and make a decision? That is really the question. I asked this question on Facebook. I didn't get really a whole lot of responses. So I'll ask it here on YouTube. Are you comfortable with what you hear and what you know about this virus to allow your children to go back to school now, in person, in classes, uh, wearing masks all day, um, you know, and, and doing all the normal sanitary things that you do, wash your hands the whole nine yards? These are children we're talking about here, from little to big. And by the way, uh, if you don't think that children can uh, not only get the virus but pass it along, read your statistics because that age is getting younger and younger and younger. Uh, ages 10 and up uh, are capable of getting the virus and spreading the virus and making other folks sick. Big decisions you need to make, uh, not only for your children's health, welfare, and safety, but for your health, welfare, and safety. I get tired of people complaining and moaning every single day about, oh, well, they didn't tell me this, and, and they trying to tell me what to do. You, you want to argue and fuss about wearing a mask. You want to argue and fuss that they give you a ticket. But, but you don't want to do anything to protect me. And that shows me little or no respect at all. If I wear a mask, I'm not doing it for me. I'm doing it for you. So if you wear a mask, you're doing it for me. And if you don't, well, that tells me what you think about me. In any event, I do hope I get some feedback on this video. I, I do hope somebody's paying attention and understanding what I'm saying. And if you don't agree with it, please chime in. Give me your point of view. I don't know how much different it, difference it'll make in my life, but, you know, at least you'll have something to say. Uh, in the meantime, uh, I have a little show called Real Talk that will air Monday evening from 6 to 7 p.m. on Facebook Live and here on YouTube. Uh, I hope you uh, go to my Facebook page, check out the guest list, and maybe give us a look. Until then, please be safe, please be careful, and anything I say uh, that may have offended you just charges to my head and not my heart. God bless. Take care. Talk soon.